Today's topic is axillary web syndrome. Got these strings underneath your arm or in your arm, be it your forearm, hand, or other position of your arm? What is axillary web syndrome? This is a medical condition characterized by cord-like structures under arms or in the arm itself. This condition is also termed as cording. Unlike the name axillary web syndrome, it doesn't always manifest itself in web form, but more like strings. Research shows that these cords are fluid-filled lymphatic vessels disrupted during the surgery of the axillary area. Causes. The condition is majority a postoperative condition that involves the removal of lymph nodes near or under the arm. Mainly, it is associated with breast cancer surgery, but there could be other potential conditions like lymphoma, melanoma, etc., in which the surgeries are done to eradicate the cancer cells. Etiopathogenesis Removal of lymph nodes from the arm or underarm area during the surgical procedure leads to disruption of lymphatic system, resulting in its irritation and triggers inflammatory reaction. That inflamed area under the skin feels like tender cords. These cords are sticking under the scar tissue, causing pain and discomfort. The cords are either running down the arm or down to the way of the chest wall. These are mostly seen with two to four weeks after the surgery, but there is no fixed time and could take months or years to make that special appearance. Incidence. Approximately 50% of people are affected by this and is highly unpredictable as to who will get this post-op condition. However, there is no predisposing factors known for this so far. Hence, it's neither your nor your surgeon's fault if you've got that. Symptoms. Inability to move arm normally. Inability to straighten the arm. Pain in the affected region. Shoulder dysfunction. When do I need to worry about my condition? If the cords are just chilling and not causing you any pain or discomfort, you need not to worry about that. Just let it be. However, if it is causing immobility, pain, or discomfort, you need to see your health practitioner. Also, in some cases, you may not be able to see the cords, but there could be certain limitations in the mobility of your arm. Treatment. In some cases, the cords resolve on their own and not persist for a long period. But in some cases, they can become chronic and give you a hard time dealing with the situation. Physiotherapy is a very effective way to deal with this condition. The skin is stretched with the hands, and this way skin traction is done to release those scar tissues sticking under the cords to manage the pain. You can also do it at home by stretching your arm with gentle exercises. These could be gravity-assisted pec stretch, Sideline pec stretch, large shoulder circles. Prognosis. Auxiliary web syndrome doesn't cause any permanent problem, though it involves the lymphatic system, but it is not as bad in prognosis as lymphedema. The worst case scenario here is pain, discomfort, and immobility. Busting myth. Auxiliary web syndrome causes reoccurrence of the cancer. This is a complete myth. Auxiliary web syndrome doesn't cause the recurrence of any cancer. It is just a local inflammatory condition and plays no role in reoccurrence of the cancer. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.